working with the sine and cosine ratios. The sine and cos ratios. The sine ratio is the ratio between a side opposite a given angle and the hypotenuse in a right angled triangle. The cos ratio is the ratio between a side adjacent to a given reference angle and the hypotenuse in a right angle triangle. Using your calculator. Let's start by seeing how to use a calculator to find the value for the sine and cos ratios when given a particular reference angle. Follow the steps given. These steps are for a Texas Instrument 83 graphing calculator. Now, let's take a look at an example. Our first example will be to find the value for the sine of 40 degrees. Now, make sure your calculator is on. We want to find the sine of 40 degrees, so we're going to click on sine, type in 40 degrees, close the bracket, and press enter. We will now notice we have an answer, 0 0.64278760097, but we were asked in the question to express it to four decimal places, so we need to look to the fifth decimal place, if it's five or more, we will add one to the fourth decimal place. Since the fifth decimal place is eight, we need to round the seven to an eight. So our answer would be decimal six, four, two, eight. And for our first example, to find the value of the sine of 40 degrees, your answer is 0 0.6428. Our second example will be, find the measure of angle A if cos A equals 0 0.6789. Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a degree. Now, you want to find the angle measure for a cos ratio. Let's see how that would be done. Make sure your calculator is on. Press second function, cos. You must use the inverse function since we're going from the ratio to the angle. Now, we will type in the angle ratio of 0 decimal 6789. Close the bracket and press enter. Now, we need to check that we need to round the answer to the nearest tenth of a degree, so we need to look to the second decimal value. Again, if it's five or more, we need to round up. Our final answer will be 47.2. Remember, inverse function. Now, the answer for our second example, find the measure of angle A if cos A is 0 0.6789. The answer rounded to the one-tenth of a degree is 47.2. Now, Let's solve some problems. 